Hey guys, so I've actually just arrived, well maybe about 10 minutes ago, in the Euro Hostel for my, for a Comic Con. So, as you can tell, I've come late because everybody else has set up. So hijinks and my stepdad have already started, well, setting up, as in bomb to it, but <laughs> it's making me really excited now. I'm super excited, um, so I'm actually, I've not even explored anything yet. Um... Okay, so this is the bathroom then. That's actually a really cute shower. I don't even know what that is. What is that? Shower gel? Yep, that's shower gel. Okay. Another wind mirror. Pop shirt. Um, is there a light for that? Is there a light? Is there a light? I don't think so. Is there a light? Yeah, that's a light. Cool. As you can tell, I'm still exploring the place. Um. And this is the view from our window. As you can tell, it's slightly grubby windows, but... Oh well. You can see the train moving there, which is Central Station, so that just shows how close we actually are. Um, Pop Exchange, Pops I'm getting signed. And they're acrylic cases. I would lie and say most of that's hijinks makeup, but that's actually mostly my makeup. <laughs> um, as well as that. Clutch on Boxer's costume, he loved it. Apparently, well, Hijink said that he loved it when he found when he got it. Um, so yeah, so our hostel room for Comic Con. So what we're doing now is doing going to be doing a makeup test on Hijinx's girlfriend Yasmin. She's doing a her sort of own interpretation of Metaton from Undertale. So that's going to be fun because she's sort of getting a little bit anxious in case. What we do tomorrow, she doesn't quite like, so we're going to do a lot of tests, see exactly what she likes, and go from there. So if she does like something, then we can write it down, or just remember it for next time. Because um, it might be some things that she's not too keen on, or we, we can't do with her own abilities, but we can always give it a shot. Um, all we can do is then is just remove it from her face. <laughs> um, better to do it now, while we've got a good few hours before going to bed, than later, or tomorrow, when we've got like an hour to panic. Um, because we've got, then we've got Yasmin's makeup, my makeup, Hijinx's makeup, um, our stepdad's slight makeup, and then hofting him to the train. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Um, so at the moment, um, Hijinx and Yasmin are actually going to Yasmin's room because Yasmin, we're on the, we're on one floor. Yasmin's three floors higher up than us. Um. And my phone has now arrived. This is being filmed on my tablet at the moment, but my phone has now arrived, and they're en route with the phone. Um, that's the thing. Um, I was texting, because I was using my stepdad's phone today, just so I can text and keep up to date with make sure they packed everything. Turns out we forgot one thing, but it was it's fine. It's been sorted now. Um, it was just a minor thing. So, we... I, I got an email saying my phone was on its way today. I tracked it down and it got to the house. Um, I didn't realise my phone was that badly damaged because they gave me a full replacement handset. <laughs> um, what happened, um, I, I didn't show any photos, videos or anything, or photos of the phone's damage, but on the front of the, the back of the screen I dropped it, so it was all cracked, all down of it, um, down the back of it. Um, there was on the top left, like on the top of right corner of the phone, there's a huge big chunk missing, so much so you can see the screen and like part of the LCD. Um, and it was making the screen lift out off slightly, and because of that, we had big water damage, causing the screen to discolour slightly at the bottom left. So obviously that much damage, they couldn't just replace it all, and just bought a new handset. Which, so all together, because with the insurance you pay whatever, however much it is a month, mine is, well I pay for Hijinx's laptop as well, so all together ours is £8.50. For my phone, which is actually £3, uh, no £3.50, and Hijinx's laptop is £5. Um, because hers is an older laptop, so it was a bit harder to source parts and things like that. And my phone is a brand new phone, um, which is the Sony Xperia Z5 Compact. So it's pretty much a brand new phone. Um, it's not that old at all. Um, so that got sent away and they've replaced it. So the excess, which is what you pay for them to go repair it and do all the maintenance, is for me it was £50. That's what they're... Guarantee that's what they you get told to pay, um, then send it away and they will repair it. So, 
for a brand new phone would have been £400. So paying £50, I've got a brand new phone. Um, it's now completely perfect, so I don't mind paying the £50, even if it's... So hopefully I don't break it this time, which is why I'm glad I have insurance. <laughs> Compared to our stepdad, where he didn't have insurance and has now smashed the entire front of his Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Yeah, he only had it three months and then smashed it up. And he doesn't have insurance, so <laughs> that's going to be fun. So we're working our way around that to get his phone fixed, but at least I can actually film on my beautiful new phone for Comic Con. Oh, I'm so happy I'm dancing and it's making this screen go horrendous. So I'll end this video here and yeah, hopefully see maybe some of you tomorrow.